Hey guys, Sorin here. So, how can we tell what causes our high ping in our favorite games? Is it our network card? Or our system? Maybe it's our cables? Or just our router? An easy way to tell this is just ping your router. If it's normal, and if you're wired, it should be around 1 millisecond. The problem is not, it's most likely not your equipment. There's a low chance of something being wrong with your stuff. So how do we do that? Well, we need to find the IP, the local IP of our router. Usually it's 192.168.0.1 or 0.1.1, depending. But in Windows, I have Windows 11 here installed. It should be similar on Windows 10 or other systems. Just right click the start, run, type cmd and we can just type IP config, and we see here our default gateway is actually our router's IP, LAN IP. If this is not shown over here for whatever reason, we can see here we have 192.168.1 point something. So I was correct, it's point 0.1.1. Point one. So now that we know this, we just need to ping. So we're just gonna ping space. 192.168.1.1 As you can see it's below 1 millisecond So most likely nothing is wrong with our equipment What does that mean? That means it might be your ISP It might be your ISP's DNS servers It might be the game server Even if it's a big company and I don't know what Stuff happens, sometimes things get overloaded and I don't know so what could you actually do to try and lower your ping? Now knowing that it's not something hardware related, it's not your cable, even if it's old, you'll be amazed how much and how good cables can stand the taste of time and how much can they run. I mean a 5E CAT cable can successfully run a gigabyte connection and have no hiccups. So yeah, how can we change for example our DNSs? to see if we can improve things. Usually we try with Cloudflare or Google's DNS servers to try and see if things get better. Usually we do this on the system level, we don't change in the router, just because it's easier and faster to test. So take note of your ping in your favorite games and then change your DNS from the settings, from your Windows network settings here is how you do it in Windows 11. We're interested about IPv4 most likely. So Cloudflare is 1.1.1.1 and we need also to set the alternate which is 1.0.0.1. We just then save and there we have it. And now you can test and see if your ping has lowered. Usually you test a little bit more than just for a couple of minutes, just in case it was a hiccup from your ISP or for the game server itself. If this doesn't work, you can also try the Google DNS servers. Those are 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. So those might be faster for you. It really depends on your ISP and a lot of other factors. But why does this work? The way information is routed through the internet between you and the game server varies and these settings can change how that, is, how that data is propagated. So that's why just doing this might get you faster, that means lower ping times. But of course it's not guaranteed. And for weirder situations like I'm from Romania and if I'm trying to ping a USA server most likely I will have a high ping or on the higher side even if my connection would be good and my SP would route good that it's the geographical distance that is the issue well even then sometimes you can improve things with gaming VPNs and such services but you need to try them out first use a trial or something like that because even that is not guaranteed of course if your ISP routes badly outside of your home country let's say maybe such a service will help you get lower pings but it's not guaranteed and i urge you to don't test just for a couple of minutes or hours 
test for a couple of days again to prevent certain hiccups from your ISP or the game server to lead you on a wrong path and make a bad informed decision. So I hope this, vi this short video helped you figure out if it's really that pesky cable or that network card or is just something related to your ISP or the game server itself. And of course in ultimate instance you could talk with your ISP but most likely nothing could be solved or they might even blame your router. And most of the times it's not. It's just not. That's not how things work. So I hope this video was helpful. If you find it informative give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments if you have any questions related to this subject or if you want to see deeper videos about this subject or related to this subject. I'll see you in the next video until then. Bye.